in the air well clear it's not a bad way to get off the mark I suppose really don't want to be bowling short to Ricky Ponting when there's a short boundary out oh now is this close yes there's the slow hand look at it the left hand and up she goes Rudy Kurtzen thank you very much oh Franklin two wickets now and Hayden is out of here another pull shot from Ponting and that'll be into the stands he is frightfully quick on his feet that one too wide and too short from Wiseman from uh... is that a little edge going down the leg side yes it is Estel has picked up the wicket of Ricky Ponting oh. it's a good shot through the covers Clark it's very good hand speed Wait, wait. Hey, hey. Hit him. Oh. Brilliant fielding. That can change a match. That's what you need from your fielders. A mix-up between Michael Clark and Jason Gillespie. And for the Black Caps, the right man is walking back to the pavilion. It's Wow. Gillespie, he's not going to run. He has smashed that. And initially, you may have thought that appeal was for LBW. <laughs> very full, very full, yeah. Well, it's starting to fall apart all of a sudden again. Hit on the full, Brendan McCullum. <laughs> well, that was togged from outside off stump. It's gone all the way. Strong man as well, Craig McMillan. The first S2 Butler. Well, it's a direct hit, and Rudy Kurtzen's asking the question. Well, I, th I think this is going to be very, very close, Bob. Direct hit. Tino Best is quick here. It's the best bit of film we've seen from the West Indies all day. He gets the ball away, or they're struggling, New Zealand. They're not struggling, they're all out. Well, that'll be out. Rudy Kurtzen doesn't have to refer it to the third umpire. And that is so and gone. We mentioned this time after time. The difference between these two teams. Fielding and running between the wickets. The West Indies haven't got a clue. Ah! Now how's that? That's the question and there's the answer for you. That's a big blow for New Zealand. Daniel Vittori has trapped Brian Lara. New Zealand chipping away at this long lineup of West Indies batsmen. Oh, that's plum. That's out. That's the seventh wicket. This is going all pear shaped for the West Indies. Daniel Vittori picks up his fourth wicket. Four for 23 now. Remarkable figures. Dwayne Smith's gone. The West Indies requiring 11 and a half runs per over. Just three wickets left.